Welcome everybody, welcome to the Dark Collector's League, and I will show you the dark side, or the dark collector side, dark side, collectors, yeah, Kylo Ren, let's get it. Okay guys, so uh, I got uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber here, okay, this is uh, Hasbro's Black Series, okay, um, they make a bunch of different lightsabers, okay? They try to make the replica lightsabers to the characters from the movie, okay? Which, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. And uh, I figure, yeah, I had this one uh, sitting in storage, so figure, hey, Star Wars came out, Kylo Ren, you know, pretty uh, popular character right now, so I figured I'd check it out, all right? I know one thing, this mask is hot, so um, I'm going to take it off. All right, there we go. I had to take it off. The mask is really cool, but uh, it's hot underneath there. So, here we go. Hasbro Black Series, okay? The box is too big, but um, yeah. Y'all know what y'all here to see. Let's get the lightsaber out here, all right? Let's, uh, let's get the lightsaber out here. I don't know how much. You know what? I got it. Hold up. I got you. All right. So this is pretty much what's in the box. Not much going on. It's really just in here to uh, make sure you secure the package, okay? And you got your little stand right here and uh, your instructions and uh, they do a good job with the foam and the packaging and the plastic and it does come with uh, uh, three double uh, AA batteries to power this bad boy. All right, let's get it out here. All right, so let's go ahead and pop it out. Got to take the foam and the tape off. All right. Got a little weight to it. It's cold sitting in the sitting in storage. So you got that right here. Take the plastic off. Alright. Woo! Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Definitely much thicker than I expected to be. Alright. Got your little stand here. Got your stand so you could display it. Right, and you got your uh, you got your instructions here, so you know how to use it. But I think we can figure it out, okay? And you do got batteries, so I'm gonna put the batteries. Pretty sure they go down there, but I'm gonna put the batteries in here, and uh, I'll meet you right back here, okay? Ready? Break. Okay, so I got the saber out, and uh, yeah, this looks pretty cool. Uh, definitely has a lot of detail on the hilt here, okay? Definitely a very cool piece as far as the way it looks, all right? Uh, it definitely is made out of metal, uh, has a good little weight to it and everything. And uh, yeah, I, I do think it's really cool. You got your little stand piece here, and I'm not sure exactly. I mean, I guess you could just sit it like that if you want to. Seems to be standing just fine, but uh, pretty sure think that's supposed to go through there nope that's not right this is probably why you should read the directions read your directions that's possible <laughs> so I should have read the directions on how to put the stand but uh, it don't matter because I'm probably not going to use this stand and display it anyway uh, but yeah this is a this is a cool piece if you're a fan of Kylo Ren this is a definitely a piece to get because um, what's good about the Hasbro Black Series is that the the hilt looks ex almost identical to what it would look like in the movie. They try to capture all the details. Uh, and of course, it does light up. I'll put the batteries in here, so let's check it out. Alright. Oh, oh. 
Very, very uh, sensitive button there. So it does have the Kylo Ren sound, the red and everything. Uh, very cool. Now, as cool as this is, I'm going to tell you why I don't like the Hasbro uh, Black Series. Even though this is supposed to be a uh, you know high end type of collectible, okay, and I say it like this for a reason, it you know looks good, uh, the details is good, but it's kind of low end at the same time because there are other stat, um, lightsaber companies out there that do this a lot better, okay. There are a lot of other lightsabers out there that are louder, brighter. Uh, more durable, uh, you can literally duel with them, okay, this here, you could probably swing in the air too hard, and this thing will probably break, okay, uh, this is definitely not made to duel with, but if you want something to sit on the shelf and just look good, this this is probably the, the a piece you can get, um, but if you don't mind paying either a little bit more maybe just about the same you could get something that still looks just as good as this will be you could be able to duel you know with it and hit stuff with it without it breaking you could be able to take the blades out and just have the hilt so uh, I mean this is cool don't get me wrong but I I would I would probably go with something a little bit more higher end than this here uh, this is only good for probably two reasons uh, one you know if you catch this on a sale or you can get this you know discounted or pretty cheap and two they do a good job of making the hilt look like the movie okay you want something that just looks very accurate to Kylo Ren Saber this is probably the way to go uh, very cool definitely do like it you know but uh, it's just it's not very loud it's just you know eh. you know sounds good but I mean there, there are much better louder sabers out there so still pretty cool though uh, definitely if you're a Kylo Ren fan this might be the way to go but if not you all should definitely check out some other the sa other uh, saber companies out there uh, that's just my opinion I don't think like I would not get a bunch of uh, the Hasbro black series you know I would I would rather get one of those custom lightsaber pieces uh, even at you know uh, Galaxy Edge at you know Disneyland Disney World they have their uh, legendary iconic sabers there I don't know how they are compared to this they could be better they could be worse but uh, they do have a Kylo Ren there that you can get so um, maybe one day I'll probably check it out but uh, yeah this is my quick little uh, unboxing and review of it very cool do like it uh, I just wouldn't you know if you have the funds to go a little bit higher than this and uh, you definitely want something a little bit better quality. I wouldn't worry wait, worry about my money on this one here, though. But, you know, still cool, though. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for stopping by and checking this out. You know, hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday. You know, Merry Christmas to all y'all out there. Hope y'all are enjoying Star Wars, the new Star Wars movie, and Star Wars on Disney+, Plus, and Star Wars on Galaxy Edge, and, you know, everything Star Wars, which... Honestly, I'm okay with that. It's really hard for me to get sick of Star Wars. I love Star Wars, so but um, Yeah, definitely a very cool piece uh, You know, I don't know if this would be my last video for a long time because you know YouTube is being dumb and I don't know what's the whole situation with that. I do got a lot of statues and figures and pieces coming in uh, 2020 that I would love to show you guys, but if I'm gonna get in trouble for showing you guys, you know my collection and unboxings and stuff like that I guess I just won't do any videos on YouTube I don't know but uh yeah just uh, all you guys out there that do watch my channel you know whether it's one person or a million people thank you I just appreciate it and um, I hope I can just bring you you know some sort of uh, cool video to show you a very cool piece okay very cool collectible but alright guys I'll catch you on next time Merry Christmas to everybody, collect to live, live to collect, okay, and uh, yeah, peace.